included tactical procedures, command relationships, integrated fire support, and the creation of special equipment for use in amphibious assaults against entrenched enemies. In World War II's Pacific Island campaigns, the Marines' forward thinking paid off. Since the very early days of aviation, the Marine Corps has pioneered and perfected the use of their own planes and helicopters to directly support the Marines fighting on the ground. The Marine innovation of close air support creates a closely integrated team that allows Marine infantry commanders and forward air controllers who are on the front lines to work directly with Marine pilots to deliver aerial firepower just where and when it is needed. The Marine Corps' ability to adapt at the grassroots level has produced new doctrine, tactical organizations, and weapons for waging expeditionary warfare. The Marine Air Ground Task Force, or MAGTAF, is a designed organizational force structure that gives the modern Marine Corps the ability to respond rapidly to any situation anywhere on Earth. The size of the forces in a MAGTAF vary according to the specific task or mission, but a MAGTAF is always comprised of four core elements, a command element, an aviation combat element, a ground combat element, and a combat service support element. Together, these combine into a single, self-contained team that brings a full set of capabilities to the battlefield or humanitarian crisis. During the Korean War, the Marine Corps developed a doctrine known as Vertical Assault, which perfected the use of helicopters to land battle-ready Marines directly into combat. The capability of deploying expeditionary forces with the fleet allows for the projection of simultaneous air and surface assaults against multiple objectives ashore. The four-man fire team is the infantry's smallest tactical unit, as well as the basic building block of the Marine Rifle Squad. Led by a corporal and centered on an automatic rifleman, the four-man fire team allows improved firepower and control during the chaotic situations that occur on a battlefield. As warfighting has changed around the world, the Marines have constantly adapted, improvised, and improved their ability to face the battle at hand as well as prepare for the battles of the future. The Marines have a tradition of training local security forces at the grassroots level in countries as diverse as Nicaragua, Haiti, South Korea, and Iraq. During the Vietnam War, the Marines developed the Combined Action Program, or CAP, that provided critical security to villagers and developed teamwork between the native population and the Marines fighting a counterinsurgency war. While living with and training the native people, CAP Marines won their trust and cooperation, which enhanced support for the established government, helped resist enemy intimidation, and provided local intelligence. In order to enhance strategic...